Welcome to IAS Academy. Prior to the 2023 preliminary exam, we will cover 15 questions daily in a video. I have already uploaded 40 test series last year. So, let's start our session. Our first question is, who among the following use the phrase, unbritish to criticize the English colonial control of India? Options are Anand Mohan Bose, Badruddin Tiabji, Dadabai Navroji, Feroz Shah Mehta. Here, answer to this question is option C. Dadabhai Navroji. Dadabhai Navroji was among the key proponents of drain theory, disseminating it in his book Poverty and Unbritish Rule in India. He proposed the drain theory through this book. Imperial Britain was draining away India's wealth to itself through exploitative economic policies, including India's rule by foreigners, the heavy financial burden of the British civil and military apparatus in India, the exploitation of the country due to free trade, Non-Indians taking away the money that they earned in India and the interest that India paid on its public debt held in Britain. So, her answer to this question is option C, Dada Bhai Navaroji. Question number 2, who among the following gave a systematic critic of moderate politics of International Congress in a series of articles entitled New Lamps for Old? Options are Aurobindo Ghosh, R.C. Dutt, Syed Ahmad Khan, Veera Raghavachari. Her answer to this question is option A, Aurobindo Ghosh. The theory of passive resistance was presented by Aurobindo Ghosh. Aurobindo Ghosh wrote a series of articles known as New Lamps for All. His literary works include Bhavad Gita and its message, Rebirth and Karma, The Future Evolution of Man and Savitri, A Legend and a Symbol. In New Lamps for All, Aurobindo explained the doctrine of passive resistance, that is doing something so that the government could be held in check. In Savitri, he referred to India as Bharat Mada. Therefore, the emotional fervor of Aurobindo Ghosh was reflected in these two words. So, her answer to this question is option A, Aurobindo Ghosh. Question number 3. Where was the first session of International Congress held in December 1885? Options are Ahmedabad, Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi. Here, answer to this question is option B, Bombay. The International Congress was founded at Bombay in December 1885. The early leadership, that is, Dada Bhainaroji, Feroz Shah Mehta, Badruddin Tiyadji, W.C. Banerjee, Surindranath Banerjee, Ramesh Chandra Dal, S. Subramanya Ayer was largely from Bombay and Calcutta. A retired British official, A.O. Hume, also played a part in bringing Indians from various regions together. Formation of International Congress was an effort in the direction of promoting the process of nation building. First session held at Bombay in 1885 and the president was W.C. Banerjee. So, her answer to this question is option B, Bombay. Question number 4. With reference to recent developments regarding recombinant vector vaccines, consider the following statements. Statement number 1. Genetic engineering is applied in the development of these vaccines. That is correct. Statement number 2. Bacteria and viruses are used as vectors. That is also correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option C. Both statement 1 and 2 are correct. Statement 1 is correct. Genetic engineering is applied in the development of recombinant vector vaccines. Genetic engineering involves techniques to alter the chemistry of genetic material to introduce these into host organisms and thus change the phenotype of the host organisms. The techniques of genetic engineering include creation of recombinant DNA, use of gene cloning and gene transfer. Statement 2 is also correct. Recombinant vaccines are made of viral or bacterial vectors. They are used as channels for entry into host organisms. So, her answer to this question is option C. Both 1 and 2 are correct. Question number 5. In the context of hereditary diseases, consider the following statements. Statement number 1. Passing on mitochondrial diseases from parent to child can be prevented by mitochondrial replacement therapy either before or after in vitro fertilization of egg. That is correct. Statement number 2. A child inherits mitochondrial diseases entirely from mother and not from father. That is correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? The answer to this question is option C. Both statement 1 and 2 are correct. Statement 1 is correct. Replacing woman's mitochondrial DNA with the donor's healthy one is known as mitochondrial replacement therapy. It's a form of in vitro fertilization. Statement 2 is also correct. The sperm contains very low number of mitochondria and mitochondrial gene. So, in the offspring, the mitochondrial genes are inherited from the mother. So, her answer to this question is option C. Both 1 and 2 are correct. Question number 6. With reference to street lighting, how do sodium lamps differ from LED lamps? Options are sodium lamps produce light in 360 degrees but it is not so in the case of LED lamps. That is correct. As street lights, 
Sodium lamps have longer lifespan than LED lamps. That is incorrect. The spectrum of visible light from sodium lamps is almost monochromatic, while LED lamps offer significant color advantages in street lighting. That is correct. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here, answer to this question is option C. Statement 1 and 3 are correct. Statement 1 is correct. Sodium lamps produce light in 360 degrees, but it is not so in the case of LED lamps. LED lamps have 180 degree bulb angle to preserve light efficiency and allow for target lighting over areas. Statement 2 is incorrect. As street lights, sodium lamps have shorter lifespan than LED lamps. High pressure sodium lamps tend to have lifespan averaging 24,000 hours, whereas LED lifespan can be greater than 1 lakh hours. Statement 3 is correct. The spectrum of visible light from sodium lamp is almost monochromatic. On the other hand, LED lamps offer significant color advantages in street lighting. So, your answer to this question is option C. 1 and 3 are correct. Question number 7. Consider the following statements in respect of 32nd Summer Olympics. Statement number 1. The official motto for this Olympics was a new world. That is incorrect. Sport climbing, surfing, skateboarding, karate and baseball were included in this Olympics. That is correct. Which of the above statement is or are correct? The answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 only is correct. The 32nd Summer Olympics was held in Tokyo in 2021. The Tokyo Olympics official games motto was United by Emotion. Hence, statement 1 is incorrect. Baseball, softball, karate, skateboarding, sport climbing and surfing were added at the Tokyo Olympics. Hence, statement 2 is correct. So, here answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 only is correct. Question number A. Consider the following statements in respect of Flores World Sports Award, which was instituted in the year 2000. Statement number 1. American golfer Tiger Woods was the first winner of this award. That is correct. Statement number 2. The award was received mostly by Formula 1 players so far. That is incorrect. Statement number 3. Roger Federer received this award maximum number of times compared to others. That is correct. Which of the above statement is or are correct? The answer to this question is option C. Statement 1 and 3 are correct. Loras World Sports Award is the premier global sporting award. First held in 2000, the annual event honors the greatest and most inspirational sporting trumps of the year. American golfer Tiger Woods was the first winner of this award. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The award has been received mostly by tennis players so far. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Roger Federer has received this award the maximum number of times. Hence, statement 3 is correct. So, here answer to this question is option C. Statement 1 and 3 are correct. Question number 9. Consider the following statements in respect of ICC World Test Championship. Statement number 1. The finals were decided by the number of matches they won. That is incorrect. Statement number 2. New Zealand was ranked ahead of England because it won more matches than England. That is incorrect. Which of the above statement is or are correct? The answer to this question is option D. Neither one nor two of the statement are correct. Revamp point system is the basis for ICC World Test Championship. The ICC announced in 2020 that the finals would be decided by percentage of points sent. The amount of points available per test has been made uniform. The system allows the relative performance of teams to be compared at any point in time, meaning the cancellation of any matches or series for any reason does not directly impact the points table. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Last time, New Zealand was the first team to qualify for inaugural final. It was third of England due to its rating, that is, through the revamped point system. So, your answer to this question is option D. Neither one nor two of the statement are correct. Question number 10. The common carbon metric supported by United Nations Environment Program has been developed for options are assessing the carbon footprint of building operations around the world. That is correct. So, here answer to this question is option A. Leading experts from around the world have, through extensive international cooperation, developed a universal method of measuring carbon footprints of building operations. Supported by the United Nations Environment Program, that is UNEP, this new common carbon metric will allow emissions from building operations around the world to be consistently assessed and compared and improvements measured. So, her answer to this question is option A. Question number 11. In the context of India's preparation for climate smart agriculture, consider the following statements. Statement number 1. The climate smart village approach in India is part of a project led by Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security, that is CSAFs, an international research program. That is correct. Statement number 2. The project of CSAF is carried out under Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research, that is CGIAR. 
ഹെഡ് ക്വാർട്ടേഡ് ഇൻ ഫ്രാൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ കറക്റ്റ് ചെയിൻ നമ്പർ ത്രീ ദ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ക്രോപ്സ് റിസർച്ച് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഫോർ ദ സെമി ആരിഡ് ട്രോപിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ക്രൈസ് ആപ്പ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഈസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി സി ജി ഐ എ ആർസ് റിസർച്ച് സെന്റേഴ്സ് That is also correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? The answer to this question is option D. Statement 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Climate Smart Agriculture, that is CSA, is an integrated approach to manage landscapes, cropland, livestock, forest and fisheries that addresses the interlinked challenges of food security and accelerating climate change. CSA aims to simultaneously achieve three outcomes. that is increased productivity enhanced resilience reduced emissions the cgiar research program on climate change agriculture and food security that is csaps marshals the science and expertise of cgiar and its partners to catalyze positive changes for climate smart agriculture hence statement 1 is correct the cgiar research program on climate change agriculture and food security seeks to address the increasing challenge of global warming and declining food security on agricultural practices policies and measures through strategic broad based global partnerships hence statement 2 is also correct the icrais act a cgiar research center is a non profit non political public international research organization that conducts agricultural research for development in asia and sub saharan africa with a wide array of partners throughout the world hence statement 3 is also correct so the answer to this question is option d statement 1 2 and 3 are correct question number 12 consider the following statements statement number 1 the united nations capital development fund and the arbati foundation have recently recognized hyderabad as 2020 treasury of the world that is incorrect chain number 2 hyderabad was selected for the recognition for a year following its commitment to grow and maintain the urban forest that is correct which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements the answer to this question is option d statement 1 is not correct but statement 2 is correct hyderabad city has been recognized as 2020 treasury of the world by the arbor day foundation and food and agriculture organization of the united nations noted by uncdf hence statement 1 is incorrect hyderabad has earned recognition in the foundation second year of the program along with 51 other cities in the world hyderabad is the only city in india to have been selected for this recognition in response to its commitment to growing and maintaining urban forestry through haridha haram program and urban forest park hence statement 2 is correct so the answer to this question is option d question number 13 with reference to indian judiciary consider the following statements statement number 1 any retired judge of the supreme court of india can be called back to sit and act as a supreme court judge by chief justice of india with the prior permission of president of india that is correct statement number 2 a high court in india has the power to review its own judgment as the supreme court does that is incorrect because a high court can review its own judgment but it differs from supreme court that is review power of high court is court of record but review power of supreme court is constitutional so which of the statement given above is or are correct the answer to this question is option a statement 1 only is correct as per article 128 chief justice of india may at any time with the previous consent of president request any person who has held the office of a judge of supreme court or the federal court or the high court and is duly qualified for the appointment as a judge of supreme court to sit and act as a judge of supreme court and statement 1 is correct as a court of record a high court also has the power to review and correct its own judgment or order or decision even though no specific power of review is conferred on it by constitution the supreme court on the other hand has been specifically conferred with the power of review by constitution and statement 2 is incorrect because as a court of record high court has the power to review its own judgment but supreme court has been specifically conferred with the power of review by the constitution so both are different so the answer to this question is option a statement 1 only is correct question number 14 which one of the following words defines the term state options are a community of persons permanently occupying a definite territory independent of external control and possessing an organized government that is correct since all other options doesn't mention about independent of external control we can choose the answer as option a so the answer to this question is option a in political science the term state has a more specific and definite meaning 
The word state means a community or society politically organized under one independent government within a definite territory. It alone has the prerogative of making laws. The lawmaking power derives from sovereignty, which is the most distinctive characteristics of the state. Hence, option 1 is correct. So, your answer to this question is option A. Question number 15. Which one of the following in Indian polity is an essential feature that indicates that it is federal in character? Options are the independence of judiciary is safeguarded, the union legislator has elected representatives from constituent units, the union cabinet can have elected representatives from regional parties. The fundamental rights are enforceable by courts of law. The answer to this question is option A. That is, independence of judiciary is safeguarded. The most important feature of the federal system adopted by Indian constitution is based on the principle that relations between the state and the center would be based on cooperation. And for this, independence of judiciary is the prerequisite. Hence, option 1 is correct. Federal features of Indian constitution includes dual polity consisting of the union at the center and states at the periphery, written constitution, division of powers between center and the states, supremacy of the constitution, rigidity of the constitution, bicameral legislature consisting of Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, independent judiciary. These are federal features of Indian constitution. So here answer to this question is option A. Independence of judiciary is safeguarded. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We will continue with the next result tomorrow.